what kind of dehydrator is needed in an environment-friendly world. Sodomi dehydrators feature a unitized construction that integrates all necessary accessories. They can be more easily installed and are very compact compared with belt presses and centrifugal dehydrators. They also boast lower noise, reduced energy consumption, and require less water for flushing. Tsurumi dehydrators thus provide an economical and eco-friendly solution to dehydration applications. Tsurumi's MDQ, MDC, and JD series of dehydrators are economical, compact, efficient, as well as eco-friendly. Our proven technology is hard at work in a diversity of applications. We have overcome many difficult challenges owing to our long years of experience and unique expertise. Tsurumi dehydrators can handle excess sludge from biological processes, DAF froth, various types of sludge, as well as coagulated sludge. Our MDQ, MDC, and JD series of dehydrators are widely used at food processing plants that produce dairy products, noodles, and other foods, industrial plants, industrial waste treatment facilities, and sewage treatment plants. Here are some guidelines to help you choose the right dehydrator for the sludge you have to deal with. If the sludge you discharge is less than 2% in concentration, we recommend a dehydrator from our MDQ or MDC series. But if the sludge you discharge is more than 2% in concentration, we suggest using one of our JD series dehydrators. If your discharged sludge contains less than 40% inorganic matter, we recommend our MDQ or MDC series while the JD series is a wiser choice for higher inorganic content of less than 60%. Here are nine outstanding features of our MDQ and MDC series dehydrators. Tsurumi's multi-disc screw press dehydrators are available in a wide lineup. With a treating capacity in a range of 3 to 216 kilograms of dry sludge per hour. And with five shafts at maximum, users can select the best equipment from 13 models according to the size of the targeted treatment plant. The MDQ and MDC series feature an energy saving configuration designed to dehydrate sludge by gravity filtration plus screw volume reduction. The dehydrators are of compact, unitized construction with all of the necessary accessories and control panels, mounted on a common base so they can be installed in a very limited space. We compared our MDQ series against other dehydrators of similar treating capacity. In terms of energy consumption, Tsurumi dehydrators use about half the power demanded by belt press dehydrators, and just one-seventh the power of centrifugal dehydrators. The dehydrator and its related accessories can be operated simply and easily from its dedicated control panel. The filtration section consists of multiple discs and a self-cleaning mechanism. Therefore, it seldom clogs, and the unit can run continuously. Our dehydrators can stably dehydrate even sludge with high oil content. They are the optimum solution for treating oily sludge such as DAF froth at food processing plants, which filter cloth systems and centrifugal separation processes cannot readily handle. Thus, our dehydrators boast a higher solid capture rate. Tsurumi dehydrators have both a gravity concentration section and a compression dehydration section, so they can handle wide sludge concentrations ranging from 0.5 to 2.0%. Because our dehydrators are constructed to avoid clogging, 
Flushing is not needed in order to restore them to their original filtration performance standards. Only a small amount of water is necessary to wash away sludge that oozes from the dehydration section, and routine maintenance work is not needed. We compared our MDQ series against other dehydrators of similar treating capacity. In terms of amount of flush water consumed in eight hours of operation, Tsurumi dehydrators used about the same amount as centrifugal dehydrators, but required about 1 17th the flush water of belt press dehydrators. The dehydrator's main unit features a semi-enclosed construction and runs at an extremely low speed so sludge does not splatter from the unit. Its eco-friendly design generates low noise and vibrations and emits virtually no odors. When two or more dehydrators are configured into one unit, any individual shaft can be repaired or serviced without interrupting dehydration operations. These features can tackle the diverse needs of sites that handle sludge dehydration. Let's look at how sludge is dehydrated on separate lines equipped with MDQ and MDC dehydrators. Sludge is conveyed from the sludge tank to the dehydrator's sludge feed tank by a separate sludge conveying pump. The sludge in the sludge feed tank is homogenized to a uniform consistency by a mixing pump. Then the sludge is fed into the measuring tank by the sludge feed pump. A predetermined amount of sludge is measured in the measuring tank and flows into the coagulant mixing tank. The excess feed is naturally returned to the sludge feed tank. The return feed gate from the measuring tank to the sludge service tank is structured like a screw that makes it easy to regulate the amount of sludge flow to the coagulant mixing tank by controlling the rotational speed of the screw mechanism. Coagulant is supplied to the coagulant mixing tank in sync with the predetermined amount of sludge fed from the measuring tank. Two types of polymeric coagulants can be added depending on sludge characteristics. Inside the coagulant mixing tank, the sludge and coagulant are stirred and reacted to coagulate solid matter into flocks. The coagulated sludge is sequentially dehydrated as it is fed to the dehydrator. Because a dehydrator is constructed with a gravity thickening section and pressurized dewatering section, not only thick sludge but also low concentration sludge of about 0.3% can be processed. The multi-disc screw press dehydrator contains a multi-disc mechanism where ring-shaped fixed discs and movable discs are alternately arranged at a regular clearance around a screw shaft. With this kind of arrangement, the outer faces of the screw blades contact the lining of the dehydrator barrel, so the movable discs constantly clean the clearance around the shaft where the sludge passes. This ensures stable dehydration performance without any clogging. Most of the water in the flocculated sludge flowing into the dehydrator main unit flows between the fixed and movable discs and then out of the dehydrator by gravity filtration. Since the structure inherently prevents clogging, the dehydrator does not require flushing and sludge that oozes from it can be washed off in about 10 seconds, so it literally can be cleaned with a small amount of water. The sludge transported by the screw is gradually compressed as the screw pitch narrows in the direction of travel. The dam plate at the end of the shaft compresses it even further. It's then expelled from the dehydrator. The screw rotates at a very slow rate of one to five turns per minute. Therefore, it generates very little noise and vibrations and requires almost no daily maintenance. The MDQ and MDC lineups feature variations of differing treating capacities. They're well suited for wastewater treatment systems, 
food processing plants, and a wide variety of other locations because they can handle all types of sludge, including sludge from biological processes, DAF froth, and coagulated sludge. With MDQ and MDC dehydrators with the touch of a single button, you can operate and manage the entire dehydration process. On dehydrators, a control panel, measuring tank, coagulant mixing tank, and sludge service tank are integrated into one unit. The difference between the MDQ and MDC series is that the MDC series dehydrators do not have a sludge service tank. Surumi MDQ and MDC series multi-disc screw press dehydrators were designed and built to improve dehydration performance. They promise effective and efficient sludge treatment that meets the frontline needs of industry and public services. Surumi multi-disc dehydrators are compact and require less power and flush water to dehydrate sludge than conventional cloth and centrifugal type dehydrators. Surumi dehydrators will continue to meet the frontline dehydration needs of industry and public services.